for some reason, I don't know why, I had this um, image of myself shackled to an oar in a Roman galleon slave ship. I was chained to the deck and I had to row for 26 more days. And if I stopped rowing, I basically got unlocked and chucked overboard. I'm a land lover, I'm not a marine person at all, so why this image came up, but I, th I think, I mean, it was obviously about the fact that I had decided I was not going to be chucked overboard. If you ask me what drives me to keep going and to be doing these events is because I love riding my bike in the mountains. I really enjoy sharing that passion and love with other people. One of the reasons for setting myself the Thousand Coals Challenge was to actually understand, because I'd lost the contact with, what it's like for most of the people who are riding these challenges and how come they suffer so much and yet keep wanting to come back. I wanted to understand when you're suffering so much, why you still come away with such um, a sense of, of fulfillment and um, within days you're missing the bubble. It is a kind of quite a childish indulgence in a way. It's like, hey, come over here and see what I found. Come up here. You want to see the view at the top. What I love is the roads that take you into the mountains. Because that's where this sense of what I call road dance comes into it. It's the beauty of the way the road will snake its way gracefully up a mountain sometimes. Other times, it'll be taking the shortest way to the top. And that's a pretty brutal way of doing things. But I love that variety. And so the way I design a 200 kilometer stage, for me, it's uh, a beautiful exercise in working with the rhythm of the roads. I just have one line I follow. The line I find helps me because anything that keeps me in the present moment is an asset. Certainly, it's a way of touching something that is greater than us in our own lives. And when you experience that on your own, that's one thing which is fantastic. But when you experience it with a group of guys who have all been through the painful lower slopes and have managed to find their space on the bike, and we're all going up the same road, it's a fantastic sense of connection. At the end of the event, when I see the guys with such a big smile on their faces and hugging each other, I know that at times they were able to smile even when the suffering was so tough. I knew that what I had to find was what I call the song called smile. And I was surrounded by everyone else who had that song called smile. And that, that 
is something that is so what the song Coles is about. To smile is something that's the easiest thing on earth, but to smile when your body is saying, stop, stop, stop. But you want to carry on because you want to get to the top of that mountain for the feeling of it's not conquering, it's not victory. The mountain isn't a trophy that you carry back home. It's, I'd say, fulfillment probably comes the closest to that feeling. <laughs>